Today, smartphones are incredibly powerful from checking out our social media accounts to sending emails to even taking a selfie for their size and all, they could do a whole lot. But don't let that small size fool you because they're just as capable as many laptops and desktops out there. Essentially, what we have here are portable mobile computing devices that fit in the palm of our hand and we get a lot of work done, especially productivity. But did you know you could get even more productivity done by transforming it into a desktop PC? You could do that by adding a couple accessories, which I'm going to go through in this video right now. Now, transforming your smartphone into a desktop PC involves three main components to emulate the experience. The first one being an external display, the second being a mouse, and the last one being the keyboard. With the smartphone acting as the brains behind the scenes, the components we just mentioned help to reach the fundamental desktop experience. The external display is needed to give users a more pleasing viewing experience working on a desk or something as opposed to trying to get stuff done on the tiny screens of their smartphones. Whether it's an oversized television, your traditional PC monitor, or one of those newer portable external displays, the most convenient way to connect your smartphone to them is by using a Chromecast if you own an Android smartphone or an Apple TV for iOS devices. Yes, I said a Chromecast. It's actually the easiest and simplest way to connect an Android smartphone to an external display. It's the most compatible solution. So once you have your Chromecast set up, you basically use the screen mirroring function to actually cast what you're showing on your device to your external display. The single reason why going the wired route is more difficult than wireless is because of all the different ports found in smartphones. Even though the Lightning port is the single standard among iOS devices, Android smartphones have slowly transitioned from micro USB to the newer USB Type-C format. Now, due to these varying ports, getting a smartphone connected to display may be trickier. In the case of Android smartphones with USB Type-C connections, you may still need to buy an adapter if your external display doesn't feature USB Type-C ports. Alternatively, if you have one of those handy USB Type-C adapter hubs that may have come with a newer laptop, you could use that to connect to an external display using an HDMI connection. Now, the issue lies in the fact that not all smartphones offer the mirror display function using a wired connection. Phones like the LG V40, Google Pixel 3, and OnePlus 6T don't work at all using this method. And even if you have older Android smartphones with micro USB ports, Using an MHL adapter as the connector doesn't always work because they might not even be MHL compatible. As for those with iOS devices, you have to give Apple credit for following one standard that applies to all of its devices. Using a Lightning to HDMI adapter, you can just about easily connect your iOS device to your television in a cinch. It's really a testament to Apple's effort to standardize things with its products. As the saying goes, it just works. And in this particular case for iOS devices, it does exactly that. For some newer phones like the Samsung Galaxy S10 series or Huawei Mate 20 series, they have their own custom desktop experiences when they're connected to an external display. Better yet, they don't require any sort of special cable or dock to access. You simply connect them to your external display and bam, you'll be instantly transported to the respective desktop-like experience. What I love about these desktop experiences that some of these smartphones offer, like the Huawei Mate 20 Pro, is that they do a wonderful job in emulating the Windows 10 experience. More so when it looks almost exactly like you're using a Windows 10 machine, you could have multiple apps running different windows. And the best thing about it is that you have a mouse and keyboard to interact with this experience versus just relying on a small screen of your smartphone. Now you have a larger display to work with so you can get more stuff done. In order to achieve that true desktop-like experience, the last pieces to the puzzle are connecting a mouse and keyboard into the mix. Now we'd recommend relying on Bluetooth enabled ones just because connecting them is done much like any other Bluetooth accessory. Once they're paired and connected, they're pretty much good to go. For Android smartphones, the process in getting them connected is no different from laptops and desktops. However, you can't connect any sort of mouse to an iPhone. It's just not possible, but Bluetooth keyboards aren't a problem. Conversely, if you still prefer going down the wired route, you'll need to purchase additional adapters in order to achieve that, including a USB hub to connect both the mouse and keyboard simultaneously. Again, the process is pretty simple with Android smartphones, but there's no way to use a wired keyboard or mouse with an iPhone. 
Therefore, if you're an iPhone user, your only option is to use a Bluetooth keyboard. As we've shown, you can quickly and easily transform your smartphone into a versatile desktop PC. Even though this solution won't totally replace the desktop experience, it's an option worth checking out when the situation presents itself. If you're on the go and really need to get some serious work done, you could even get yourself acquainted with a mobile setup that you could get up and running in a jiffy. Take a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse along with one of those portable external displays, and you can basically get your desktop setup situated just about anywhere. All we're trying to say here is that today's smartphones are more advanced than ever before. The beauty in all of this is the heightened level of productivity that can now be achieved by our smartphones. We're limited in our engagement when using the smartphone by itself, but with the addition of these peripherals and accessories to help them transform into desktop-like experiences, we can do even more in the same amount of time. And that is it for this video, guys. I hope it was helpful. Pretty straightforward for the most part. But if you guys want to learn more about any of the stuff I talked about in this video, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. This is John V, signing off.